On the last day of a summer camp in China, a 13-year-old boy was reportedly forced to perform 1,000 squats as punishment for talking to other campers. The boy struggled to complete more than 200 squats, with his legs weakening under the strain. What happened next was horrifying. One of the instructors allegedly kicked him, causing him to fall to the ground in pain. The boy lay on the ground for approximately half an hour before his parents arrived and rushed him to the hospital. He was later diagnosed with rhabdomyolysis, a serious medical condition where the muscles break down and release harmful proteins into the bloodstream. This condition not only led to liver and kidney damage but has also left the boy facing a lifelong disability. Doctors have informed his family that he will never be able to participate in sports again. Since the incident, the boy has been relying on crutches and a wheelchair to move around, which has severely impacted his daily life and his studies. The camp organizers initially agreed to a one-time settlement payment to cover medical treatment, transportation, and tutoring fees. However, the settlement misrepresented the true cause of the boy's injuries, suggesting that it was due to excessive effort during the squats rather than physical abuse by the instructor. Believing the camp organizers should be held accountable for their actions, the boy's family filed a lawsuit in June 2024. They argue that the injury caused by the incident amounts to a lifelong disability and that the damages far exceed what was covered in the original settlement. This tragic case raises serious questions about the responsibility of summer camps and their staff in safeguarding children's well-being. It highlights the long-term impact that extreme physical punishment can have, both physically and emotionally. We'd like to hear your thoughts on this issue. Should there be stricter regulations in place to prevent such incidents from happening at summer camps? What do you think could have been done to prevent this tragedy? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you found this coverage informative, please remember to like this video, share it with others, and subscribe to the channel. Your support helps us bring you more in-depth news like this. This is 2230, and we look forward to hearing from you.